So I press M for the rectangle tool, modify the center out, and it's going to build this out. You can see this shape has a fill. I might just want to get rid of that by pressing the forward slash, and I get rid of the fills. You can see here the shortcut is there. You can press that button to get rid of it. And usually a sleeping bag has like a flap. So we're going to do that. I'm just going to make a box rectangle again. Just drag out. We'll try and find the center. And then you can use the pen tool, press P and then select, click and then click on that anchor there. So now you can see you've got this little flap thing. And maybe we want to make sure like there's patterns in there or maybe there's a seam, you know, there's an inside seam or stitching. We can just add a box. And then we're going to bring it to the back. And then once again, we can add a fill to this. And then we can bring it back, bring it to the front. We can also double click on a shape and we can actually just delete these just like that. So that's another way to do that. And then go to outline mode again and we'll bring it to the front just like that. So maybe like there's a pillow in there or there's like a seam in there. You can also go in and add a stroke dash. So I'll just make this one way. And then maybe if you want to make it smaller, you can actually do a dash line. So if you go to stroke, you'll see this dash line, click that box. And you can actually do a dash. Maybe you want, we want to make it smaller. So that's another way you can do to add some detail to the bag. Sometimes it might look not look right. So yeah, that's another way to create some cool you know stitching elements. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna we'll add some embellishments. So use other strokes as a guide. I can delete that. And so we know the spacing's right. So you can see smart guides, it clicks into place. So all this spacing is would be the same as you can see there. I can bring that to the back. And then you'll see that's that. Maybe I want to make a hmm. I was thinking of adding like a little bit, but that's fine. Might round off these corners. As you can see this sleeping bag has like a round corner like that. It even has an opening, which is pretty cool, but I'm just gonna leave it on this. The reference images is just for like some inspiration or help. Just so you get the overall picture of you know the icon or image you're trying to create. Okay, sweet. So we've got that sleeping bag, got a tent, lantern, and we'll just do this bag. 